Chase is hockey. Blue futon. Movie on the box. <laughs> how? No, I don't call it how. Have I seen this movie? No. Let me go watch how. Now that you know if it's worth. So I just got done watching how what is about, well, just by the cover of the DVD, you know, this is a werewolf movie. This is based in London, where a guy, he works on a train, basically like, tickets please, tickets please, tickets please, and all of a sudden, bam, the train stops. But why is it stopping? Hint, hint, the werewolves are out in the woods. And will they be able to survive these maniac creatures of werewolves? So what I like about this movie, well, the creature design of these werewolves are very different. Instead of having like fluffy, gorgeous werewolves, these are actually werewolves that barely have hair on them, maybe on their head. They're kind of more human bodied. It's more like a morph of man and wolf, but more ugly and more brutal and realistic of like, they really don't have tails because they're also humans as well. While their spine might be more towards the wolf side, but they don't have full fledged tails. Their hands are still more hands and their feet are more like werewolf's feet or wolf's feet. So the creature design is very unique and different in this movie. It's not a normal wolf running around, no. It's like ugly face. It just looks like a demorphitation-ish, making up words now, of wolf and man. I also like how this movie was kind of a one set piece movie. Instead of like, you know, American Wolf from London, which is an amazing movie, this is a, a train tube, and that is all this guy basically said. Yeah, there's a couple scenes where they're outside the train, but the main set piece is this train, and on the track. Also what's good is about the characters. While some of the characters, they get annoying, you're like, oh come on. A lot of them actually care for that. Okay, let's hope you make through it. And when they actually do die, you're like, oh man, I kind of wish that person would have survived. And I do kind of like the ending of this movie of what they actually went for. So the bad about the movie is the story. Even though it's a normal world story, and it is basically taking place at midnight, you don't know if these wolves actually live in the forest with this transformation kind of permanently, which I kind of say they are, attacks happen on a, you know, a full moon. So are these basically werewolves kind of just living in these forests forever? And when the moon happens to be full, that is when they decide to attack. I don't know, but the story kind of doesn't let you go that path. It's more of this like these character dilemmas on this train, having these characters survive, and the wolves are kind of the, not the main part of the story, if you want to put it that way. I mean, they're part of the story, but they're not like, why are they there? Who are they? That part really just doesn't care. I mean, they do like, oh, a 1930s or 1960s reference, but that's about it, about werewolves. But they don't really tell who these people are, so that's kind of a bummer. Is this a good werewolf movie? Yes, do I recommend it? Yes, just because there are a lot of werewolf movies out there, and some of them are not that good, but this one is kind of unique. Singular location, and these are not typical werewolves, and it's kind of fun. The gore is also pretty good in this movie. As well as you kind of vote for some characters, and you want some characters to survive, that's always good in the movie. So good about the movie. Direction's great. Sound design's good. I like how they didn't do a lot of green screen. Of course, they have to do some green screen, but the actual monsters are real as much as they can, of course. They have to do some CGI for some of the face, like movements and everything. Bad about the movie, some of the story is like, eh, I wanna know more about it, and some of the characters are just flat out annoying. While some of them you want to survive, some of them you're like, just die already, just die, you're annoying, and get out of my way. So how will receive a three out of five blue futons which equals this is 60%. Let me see what the critics and user scores gave this movie. Your user score is at 37%, Critics, 64% and no critic consensus. Well, I can see why some of the users probably didn't like this movie. They probably didn't like how it wasn't a, the same werewolf story. It was more of like a hybrid. As well as the ending, I can see people not liking the ending, but I kind of dug the ending of how they actually decided to conclude it. So I don't know why they just score so low in this one. I mean, it is a linear story, a werewolf story. Good location in my opinion. I don't understand. I'm more with the critics on this one. Just, I had a good time with this. I could be biased because I love werewolf movies. They are, that's my one, like Wolfman. That is the one universal horror monster movies that I always go to as a werewolf ones. But do you agree with my 60, the critics 64, are the user scores 37. Chase second the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know this is Blue Futon Utopia. You're Blue Futoni. Thank you for watching and have a great day. I liked it. So, oh! No, no response.